Hey everybody, Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Milan School. I'm sure, unless you live under a rock, you know who Randall's Adventure Training, Essie Knives is. Uh, I'm good friends with Patrick and Shane down there. Uh, we've done a lot of different uh, gatherings and stuff of that nature where we're there together. They obviously have a fantastic school of training, but they also obviously sell Essie Knives, and they also have what I'm going to review here today, what they're calling their Advanced Survival Kit. I love this thing. I absolutely love it and I'm going to go through all the pieces and parts of it for you and then I'll show you where you can source it and get it for yourself. The first thing I want to talk about is the pack that it comes in. I think this is a custom design. It has a Velcroed pack that is on the front to rip off. This is a map case, which I'm a huge fan of a map case that keeps your maps waterproof and cared for. It also has an outer pocket. Now, Shane, I think this is actually Shane's kit that he carries in his truck, and he's let me borrow it. But he had some first aid supplies in here, and I think he kept most of those for himself. So he's got those. Smart guy. Uh, inside of here, what you have inside the pack, you have a strap that you can put on it. You have a see-through mesh pocket, uh, a larger pocket. And then inside here, you have two custom pieces that I'll show you what these are designed for and how everything that's on this table fits into this pack very, very well and how this is going to be a fantastic kit for you. The way the material is laid out in this pack is in very intelligent. First off, just inside the pack but strapped in very well are these pieces that you see right here, which is you have 30 foot of really good, I don't know what millimeter of cordage this is, really good cordage. You have one of Essie's carabiners. You have, I think this is a 5x5 five five nylon ripstop tarp. It sure does look like nylon. You have two garbage bags that you can utilize for sheltering or gathering material or just use as a rain jacket. You have two water bags here to collect water and purify water in. You have an SE4 knife that is actually a fantastic blade in and of itself that is inside this kit. And uniquely attached is a... Uh, like a keychain device where you can easily take this in, in and out of the pack. You have a Petzl Tacana or Takina headlamp, and you've got three AAA batteries that go into this headlamp to work it. All of this material lays on the inside of the pack. The next part I'm going to talk about is one of the coolest things in the kit. Let me show you what this looks like. They've got several items that come in a credit card size pouch, and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. But you have an SE10. You have a survival fishing kit. You have a survival cards, and this is an open and done. This is not Ziploc, so I don't want to open that up to show it to you. I want to leave it the way Shane gave it to me because I'm giving all this back to him, obviously. And then you have the signal mirror. You have a Fresnel lens. You have the business card. A lot of people see these at different events. Essie gives these away pretty regularly. These are fantastic little survival uh, items that are really important and their business information on the other side. Then you have their nav cards. These things right here are fantastic. All the information that's available here to utilize for your map navigation. Now the next piece is probably one of the most unique pieces I've seen in survival kits and I absolutely love that they have this in there. So they have this basically mess kit, survival kit, camp kit, whatever. And everything that you see right here resides inside this mess kit. Let's walk through it. You have two bands that are not necessarily holding it together, but just securing it a little bit more. You could utilize these for fire tender as well. You have some duct tape. You have a signal whistle. You have a pencil. You have what appears to be Cordura to me and a needle inside there for fixing equipment. You have some waxed jute twine. You have some cordage here, and quite frankly, I don't know what the origin of this is, but I believe you could cut through some zip ties with this rather easily. You have some brass wire, which is great for trapping. You have a wire saw. You have some flagging material for signaling or leaving sign for yourself. You have a Sunto compass. You know how much of a fan I am of Sunto compasses, and this is a legit A10 compass, a very good compass. You have the survival and navigation notebook that Essie and Randall's has put out, which is not just a notebook. It also has incredibly useful information in the back on navigation and survival. So these notebooks are fantastic guides. 
you have an LMF, light my fire, ferro serum rod. You have a button light, which you can use for lighting and signaling. You have an actual Victronics stainless steel knife. This is not a cheap version. This is one of the good ones. You have some survival matches. You have some aqua purification tablets. You have some more cordage here, and this is like spider wire. That's what it looks like to me. Um, Shane may correct me on that. I don't know exactly what that is. Um, but all of this material right here resides inside the mess kit. And again, as I mentioned earlier, Shane let me borrow this, and this is his kit, so I've got to get it back to him. Um, but I'm sure he's got a more extensive IFAC. Matter of fact, I know he does because I saw it. Uh, but this was in there as well on the front, so it has easy access. There will be more supplies there that you can put in there. They have some of this utility flame uh, fire starting gel, which resides in this Ziploc bag. And then they have the survival blankets, the Endure survival blankets. There's two of them in here. And all of this resides on the front cover of the pack itself. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how all this stuff goes into the pack itself, how compact this is and give you some ideas how you can carry it. Hey, so check out the description below for where you can find links where you can pick this up. It's the Advanced Survival Kit, USA made company, US made materials, nearly everything in here comes from the great United States of America, which is fantastic. So check it out. You asked for it, a kit made in the USA. Here it is. Come on, join in. Let's learn together.